Prime Minister Narendra Modi reached Guwahati in Assam from Odisha last evening and was accorded a warm welcome by Assam BJP's women members by lighting nearly one lakh earthen lamps at the veterinary field in Guwahati's Kanapara, where the Prime Minister today is going to inaugurate and lay foundation stones of projects worth 11,000 crore rupees for Assam, which includes Ma Kamakya Divya Pariyojana or the Kamakya Corridor. The corridor will provide world-class amenities to pilgrims visiting Kamakya Temple. Other projects are set to be launched as well to boost sports and medical infrastructure as well as connectivity uh, to be the fee key focus areas in Guwahati. Now, massive gatherings ex expected in Guwahati's public address of the Prime Minister that will also include 5,000 Lakhpati uh, Didis as well. Last night after his arrival, Prime Minister also met the Assam core committee of the BJP on the party's preparations for the ensuing Lok Sabha elections. The Prime Minister's visit to Assam comes close on the heels of Rahul Gandhi's Bharat Jodo Nyaya Yatra as well through the state that was uh, marred by controversies with even police cases registered against Rahul Gandhi and other Congress leaders for violation of the Yatra route permission. I have my colleague Ratnadeep joining us with more details. Ratnadeep, take us through the Prime Minister's itinerary today. In fact, several projects that are slated to be launched. That's right. This is going to be a massive uh, you know, infrastructure development projects uh, which are uh, going to be either inaugurated or uh, you know, foundation stone being laid projects worth more than 11,000 crores are to be, uh, you know, either uh, their inauguration is going to be take, uh, taking place. In fact, two projects, four laning of uh, uh, key national highway segments on the you know, on the northern bank of the Brahmaputra, an area which was uh, underdeveloped. Now, there has been a thrust in terms of uh, giving better connectivity to that region and four laning uh, work has, uh, uh, you know, completed and those two uh, key stretches of National Highway will be dedicated to the nation. This will give better connectivity to the North Bank of the Brahmaputra, also to Arunachal Pradesh. Also, eight key projects that include the Kamaksha Access co Corridor uh, in line with the Kashi Vishwanath Kar Corridor, where, you know, Kamaksha is one of the most famous uh, shrine, uh, uh, most famous temple in the country. And uh, lakhs of devotees come every year and, uh, you know, a facelift will be given to Kamaksha, particularly all weather access. Uh, and also amenities will uh, you know be boosted for the uh, devotees also there are key projects like upgradation of the guwahati medical college which would make it uh, to the uh, biggest medical college in eastern india uh, there is an upgradation of the nehru stadium into a world class fifa uh, standard football stadium to give a uh, uh, lift to uh, football amenities in the city of Guwahati, also a new stadium at Chandrapur, a new medical college in Karim Ganj in southern Assam. There is only one medical college in that region, so that is very important. And right. Unity Mall, uh, 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 the foundation stone for an Unity Mall where products of all uh, states, of all districts of the country will be showcased. Uh, so in all, there would be about uh, more than 11,000 crore uh, uh, investment uh, which will be you know uh, uh, either inaugurated or uh, a foundation stone laid now this is probably going to be prime minister's last official visit to assam before uh, the uh, lok sabha election he would be however coming in for campaigning for the lok sabha election and therefore although it's an official program there will be a political undertone in fact behind me you can right. see uh, the main busy streets and the roads of Guwahati have been all decked up with BJP flags, large cutouts of Prime Minister Modi all over the city. In fact, he was accorded a warm welcome by the BJP uh, members, particularly the women who uh, had, uh, you know, light up uh, diyas, uh, almost one lakh diyas yesterday. Yesterday, after reaching uh, Guwahati last night, he uh, was present at the BJP core committee meeting of the Assam Pradesh BJP, where he reviewed the preparations of the party for the uh, ensuing Lok Sabha election. The 14 seats in Assam are very crucial uh, for uh, BJP and more so the 25 seats in Northeast. And therefore, Assam is one state uh, from where BJP started, uh, you know, rolling its political uh, journey in terms of uh, coming to power. It was Assam, uh, which was the first state they conquered in Northeast. Subsequently, they have won Assam twice. And this visit of Prime Minister comes close on the heels of uh, Congress leader Rahul Gandhi's Bharat Joro Nyaya Yatra, which passed through uh, Assam, uh, you know, a couple of days back. In fact, it was marred by controversy uh, with uh, cases uh, uh, registered against Rahul Gandhi for violation of uh, the route of the Yatra. And therefore, uh, although this is an official program, uh, uh, the BJP sees this as a great opportunity 
of show of strength of building up uh, the momentum for the lok sabha elections which are very crucial and therefore uh, uh, thousands of people are expected at the khanapara veterinary field uh, bjp claims that it is going to be an historic turn out and among them there would be at least 5000 lakhpati didis something uh, that the prime minister himself is pushing uh, in in terms of you know uh, developing micro entrepreneur among rural women and there would be 5000 of them uh, present in the event to greet the prime minister so that would be one uh, important aspect of today's uh, event and uh, with uh with a you know fo uh, focus to scaling up infrastructure development in assam the message that perhaps ahead of the election the prime minister and bjp wants to send across is development in the region is something which will right. be high uh, on bjp's agenda in terms of the next general election